Wow, that is fucking loud. I can't hear shit. Y'all gonna have to run with it. So what's up, y'all? This is Man Step, and today we're playing Home Space VR Experience. I know that ain't what you see, but that's the title. I don't know what I want to do. Let's try astronaut mode. You know what I'm saying? This mode contains highly disoriented sex and should only be attended by experience. Uh, nah. Let's do easy mode. This mode contains what well, they all contain. Like some kind of crazy. I should have did astronaut mode. Yeah, this game's super loud. You know what I'm saying? Pressure but it is what it is. EV1 moving towards the Quest airlock. 17,000 miles an hour. Damn. That's fast. Shit. I'll be. I be complaining about people going 70. I'm like, damn, that's fast. EV2, we're one minute from egress. Time for last checks. Take a look at your gloves for us. Oh, damn. Sure wow. Holy shit. You caught me off guard with this. I did ass ain't think you was going to okay. put me. Houston has visual contact on the helmet cam. Your heart rate and oxygen levels are on your chest if you want to check, EV2. Readings look fine down here. It's Go saying my... Uh, Water's great. It's saying my burps per minute is 77. Is that good? I'm burping seven, se 77 times a minute. I think that's good. So what are we doing? Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's some dope ass Reach shit. Reach out in front of you and grab those yellow railings. Remember, oh. Pull the trigger on the hand controls to... Okay? Test run. I want to see space. I ain't the biggest grab space fan. Fix it onto the yellow handrail. I'm not the okay, biggest space fan, but I want to see this. Houston here. We are ready to open the airlock. I want to see this. Airlock hatch is opening. Oh shit. EV2, your toolbox is attached to your waist belt. We are ready for you to move outside. Oh. Just through that hatch in front of you. I see. Just push it open and take a look. Grab hold of the yellow handle. Pull yourself up. Oh shit! I see it. You couldn't take me to space for real, yo. I'd be freaking the hell out. I'm dead dead. Oh, oh my god. We're all looking up at you. Six years of training was worth it for this, right? I wish I could flick y'all off, I would. Take it nice and easy. We want to keep your heart rate steady. Anything under 80 beats per minute is great. God damn. EV2, readings down here are optimal. This is going to be a walk in the park for you. Y'all seeing what I'm saying? Hey, I like that little walk in the park joke because I ain't... Okay. Ooh, okay. My heart rate was going nuts the first time. So am I jumping out? Oh, shit, I'm going out. Oh, my God. It ain't full 3D because I can hey, see the black Ruby, darkness behind me. Join me. Oh, sh hey. Down those shades for you. Yeah, need a bit of sunblock up here. I'm sticking with you till we get to the arm. We figured you might need some company for the first section. Damn, We're hey. just over this way. You all in my face. You all in my face. Reach out in front of you and grab those yellow railings. Remember, pull the trigger on the hand controls to grip and pull yourself forward. Take some practice. Yo, I'm getting kind of dizzy. <laughs> Y'all saw that? Oh my god, bro. It's space. Reach up to the handle on your right. It ain't that bad. I mean, I mean, I'm talking shit like I'm really there. The oh, I bet. Oh my god, look at the damn planet. I'm down there. Here she is. We're gonna let the crane take the strain. Now you listen. Drag yourself all the way over on your own, right? Yeah, let me tell you something. If this damn whole system EV2, EV1 will snap you into the foot restraint once you're in place. This better not towards the T bar and grab on. None of this better blow up. I'm trying to tell you straight up, buddy. Just if Pull yourself along and let go. Don't be shy. She's talking about don't be shy. Ah! 
Do I let myself go? Oh, I'm floating. Nah, let me stop. Okay, you're strapped in and ready to go. The camera's in the toolbox on your tether. It's a point and shoot. Nice and easy. AV1, let us know when you're clear. Give me five seconds, and I'm out of the picture. Oh, out of here. Just holler, and I'll be over in about 45 minutes. No, nah, that's too long, bro. You got 45 seconds. Station, Houston here. You are go to start Canada arm motion. Motion commencing. Yo, 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 wait a minute. Hold up. Call on the soundtrack. If you're more into the sound of silence, just tap the panel on your left arm to turn it off. I won't get offended. No, I'm good. Tap it again to turn it back on. Yo, how the hell can people say the earth is flat? <laughs> is you crazy? I mean, it kind of is looking like a pancake. Nah, let me stop. Damn. Take a look at the light over the mountains near Vancouver. That's real pretty. Sunset in one minute. It's a big satellite. Thirty seconds to motion stop. Twenty seconds to motion stop. Man, I want to go to space. You know, I catch myself looking at the stars sometimes when I'm outside at night. Just a few more seconds to destination. Sometimes I go out there and sit. Sunset you know. in 10 seconds. Turning on ISS lights. But man, this this. Nice landing station. Okay, EV2. We're ready to disengage you from the arm once you're tethered up. Oh Put shit. Onto the yellow oh wait, 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 wait. EV2, look right. Continue pulling yourself along using the yellow handles. I got it. I got this dog. I got this big dog. I got this boss dog. I'm still, I'm still waiting on some shit to happen, like for something to blow up. You know what I'm saying? Wait, did the earth go dark? Why the earth went dark? Who turned the earth off? You know what I'm saying? Is the light bill high? I mean, I know we in debt, like trillions of dollars in debt, but y'all couldn't keep the okay. earth on? Um, that's more damage than we expected. Wait, wait, what you talking about damage? I was just joking. I mean, not about the earth being turned off. Like you Let's need to take some photos for now, EV2. We can make a call later on whether that needs to be replaced. Oh, my camera! Oh shit! Oh damn! Houston, we have debris incoming. EV1, we copy. Station, prepare the airlock. Wait, that's situation. that's bullshit. EV2, get back on the arm now. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I'm in space and it's dark. Houston, EV2 is off structure. Please copy. EV2 is loose. Yo, I'm like really out here though. Houston, do you oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, I'm freaking out, bro. I'm freaking out. I'm in space. I'm freaking out. Yo, I'm freaking out. Like I'm dead ass floating off. I don't want to move. Do y'all expect me to fly back there? Am I doing this myself? Don't make me Iron Man this. Houston, lights are down. Station, turn on emergency lights. How the hell y'all turned the earth off? Houston, we have lights on the ISS. I am too far away to assist EV2. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. EV2, you have one minute of fuel in your jetpack. It's some debris. To navigate back to the airlock using the hand control. It's some debris coming at me at like a hundred miles an hour. Y'all know this shit flying fast, right? That's flying fast. All lights except those on the airlock for guidance. It might look slow, but to commence thruster firing. But in space, that shit is going very fast. All right, buddy. You got plenty in the tank. You can do it. 
Oh yeah. Make it nice and easy on those controls. I'm trying. You staying out here? Oh, I'm trying. That scared the hell out of me, y'all. Okay, focus. I mean, it's only so much I can do. I can only go straight. And all this debris around me, I don't know, it's too dark. That scared the shit out of me. EV2, fuel down to 50%. I thought you wanted me to stop. I say I thought you wanted me to stop. I say I thought you wanted me to stop. Uh oh, it's in my face. Get out of here. You gotta think. All this debris around me is going super fast. Like if it was on Earth. Fuel less than 20%. I mean, think about it. They said we was going like 17 billion miles an hour in space. Fuel at 10%. So you gotta think about how fast. Fuel less than 5%. EV2, you're out of fuel. Stand by while we work through the problem. Hey, yo, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. I'm froze. I'm cryo. Cryogenic. I'm dead. EV2, stand by. Yo, I'm dead. EV2, stand by. EV2, stand by. You keep saying that. I'm, I'm already... Bro, I'm froze. I'm straight up just like onion rings. I'm a whole frozen onion ring in the freezer, in the back of the freezer. The one that nobody's seen in months. And then they just so happened to come across it. That was dope. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that whole experience. You know what I'm saying? I think that was that was a dope experience. You know, it, it kind of, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's the way I, you know, record or play these games but i wish it looked a little bit better you know through the headset but that shit was so dope man it, it kind of because i'm not the biggest space fan you know what i'm saying but i do wish i could go to space at least get the chance to go to space one day that's something like skydiving i want to skydive one day you know what i'm saying so to go to space it's not far-fetched you feel me maybe at some point down the road it'll probably be like cheap to go into space, I know it's expensive as hell nowadays, but I'm pretty sure at some point in the future when they become normal, they'll probably let people like me go to space for cheap. But I dead ass want to go, you know, and th this experience right here just scared me, especially like I was expecting something bad to happen, and it did. Just like m debris and meteors and shit just flying around me, and I'm over there just freaking out. I dead ass was freaking out because it. It feel different when you actually play these VR games. You know what I'm saying? Like when you in it, when you watch somebody play these, it's like, oh, what's the big deal? But when you get in it yourself and it's a smooth ride like this was, and it ain't choppy and it ain't like or disorient and it's not making you dizzy, dude, the experience is crazy. I'm telling y'all right now, like me just spinning, like I couldn't imagine the whole. I mean, I wanted to try the the space edition where the space mode. But easy mode was, I think, perfect. You know what I'm saying? I think it's perfect for my my VR skill and experience. But I like that. I liked it a lot. It, it scared me. It got me excited about space. Just even, like, opening the hatch and seeing it. You know what I'm saying? And just seeing the Earth. How the hell can people assume Earth is flat? So if y'all want to try this, if you got what it takes, check the link below. I'm going to leave a link for this. I'm going to see if they got any other, like, space you know what I'm saying? I know it's another space game that's coming out sometime this year or sometime next year where you play as this female and you get to go to space. That look good, you know what I'm saying, based on what I've seen. But I want to try that. But other than that, I'm going to look for some more space games. I really want to experience this whole space, you know, thing. So y'all check the link for this. If I find any other space games, I'm going to check them out. And thanks for watching.